Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the subsets problem. Given a set of distinct integers, nums, return all possible subsets, the power set, note, the solution set must not contain duplicate subsets. So, for example, the input is 1, 2, 3, and the output is the power set, all the possible subsets. So, as you can see, the empty set is always a subset, so we add it there. And we have the set containing 1, the set containing 2, the set containing 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So how can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem iteratively or recursively. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve this problem iteratively. Because the iterative solution is very simple. In the next video, I'll show you how to solve it recursively. So the main idea is that we're going to start with the empty set. So we're going to have a final result list and we're going to have the empty set for the first element that we add. And then what we do is that um, we examine every element from left to right in the input. And then we start with one and we add one to the empty set um, to a copy of the empty set. And then we have the set containing one and the, and the empty set itself. Then we examine two, and we make a copy of the empty set and a copy of the of the set containing one, and then we add two at the end, so we get the set containing two and the set containing one two, and so on. So I'm gonna teach you now. I'm gonna show you how this looks. So this is what I mean. First, we have the empty set, and then what we do is that we make a copy of the empty set, and then we examine one. So we add one to this copy. Now, what we do is that we make a copy of the empty set and we make a copy of the set containing one. And now we are examining number two. We're examining number two. So what we do is that we add two to the empty set and we add two to the set containing one. So now we have these sets generated. The empty set, set containing one, set containing two, and the set containing one, two. Then what we do is that we make a copy of all the subsets that we have generated so far. So we make a copy of the empty set, a copy of this one, a copy of the set containing two, and a copy of the set containing one, two. And then we are examining number three. So what we do is that we we put three here, and we put three in the set containing one, and we put three in the set containing two, and we put three in the set containing one, two. So now we have generated all the subsets. So this is the algorithm. As you can see, because we have n elements, the number of subsets that we generate is 2 to the n. So we have three elements, so the output has 2 to the 3 subsets, which is 8 subsets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's the main idea. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I need a list of list of integer, the final result, gets a value of new array list, and then I will say result that add new array list of integer. So as you can see, I start by adding the empty set. So the empty set is represented as an empty array list. And then I can sort the input. Arrays that sort nums. In this case, I don't have to sort the input, but because I want the output to be in ascending order, I will sort. But for this problem, it is not necessary. So for integer i, because of value zero, i is less than nums that length plus plus i. So I will examine every number from left to right. And first, I'm going to start with 1. So I will make a copy of the subsets that I have generated so far. So I'm going to have integer size because the value of result that size. And then I, ha I will have to iterate through all the subsets that I have so far for integer j because the value of 0, j is less than the size, plus plus j. Then I will make a copy of every subset and I have to make a deep copy so result that add new 
array list and then result that get j so as i said for for example the first time i will make a copy of the empty set so i will add it to the final result and then i will get that copy result that get result that size minus one and then i will add num sub i and then i will return the final result so I'm going to run the code it seems to be working fine I'm going to submit the solution alright this is working perfectly so as you can see the time complexity is big of 2 to the n because if there are n elements the number of subsets is 2 to the n and the space complexity is also big of 2 to the n. In the next video I'm going to teach you the recursive solution to this problem which is also intuitive. If you like this video please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.